family. So I decided to do this video today with my feet in the water. Um, what can I say? It is such a blessing to be here. I know if you all look at my videos from when I was in the States to now, you'll see that I'm shades darker, the melanin's popping. Already my glasses are too strong. For some reason when I get on the continent, I have issues with my glasses. I did order a new pair as you all know, but I think those may be an issue when they get here as well. Um, I came on because I wanted to talk about how you swear you're going to be prepared for this journey, but like you could never really be ready. And you just have to be, right? Because y'all know I was doing videos on packing and what that would look like, what you should take. I ended up shipping stuff that I needed to take with me to pack in my suitcase. I left stuff behind because I, I mean, I really got this feeling at the last minute, like there was like this huge anxiety, like I need to get out of here. And if I don't go, I'm gonna miss my flight. And I didn't want to delay it because sometimes you'd be like, well, maybe I should hang around a little longer. And you know, just all of these feelings of trepidation and anxiety and stress about, can I really leave? Can I really do this now? What this is gonna look like? Um, and finally, I was like, you know what? Whatever I don't take, I'm just not gonna take with me. I'm not gonna worry about it. My son, I hope, will be responsible enough to get me my things. I had packed a lot of stuff, but I had to depend on him to get it to the shipper. I underestimated how much I would really be taking with me. Um, but the shipper should be coming next week, and those items will arrive in October. The items that I shipped in June, at the end of June, should be getting it on my birthday, August 3rd. So I will let you all know what that looks like. Um, but it's just a process right, right now, you know, just trying to stay positive um, about getting out. And for me, at the last minute, I started, all of this stuff just started coming to me. I don't know, maybe it was like the, the old conditioning of the Matrix, you know? Me feeling like um, I was a runaway slave or something, you know, like I'm running away from the Matrix. I To the point where I got to the Gambian airport and I got a call from a, a tax clinic that was working on my taxes for me. And they were like, well, if you can't tell us when you're coming back, then we're not going to be able to assist you with your taxes. And I'm like, wow, you've had my case for how long working on my taxes and you still didn't do it. But you wait till I arrive in Africa to tell me, oh, now you may not be able to assist. So I just thought that was really interesting that as soon as I stepped into the Gambia Airport, it was like the, ma the Matrix last effort to cause some drama. But I'll just let it go. I'm like, when I get a chance to get around to it, I will get around to it. Otherwise, I'm not even getting upset about it because it is what it is, you know, at this point. But I'm here living my very best Africa life, A-F-R-E-E-C-A, -E -E just like the channel, Anja Africa. And I'm working on some stuff. I'm getting some things in order. I've been looking for properties and places to put my stores and securing um, employees and business partners and um, trying to really stay positive. And I also wanted to mention, be sure that when you come, um, that you have a backup plan because, you know, I ended up staying with someone who offered their home. And one thing I realized is that I never really did well with roommates because, you know, people want to do things their own way. And if you're very much used to being alone, that situation may not really work for you. So I know I'm not going to be in this situation too long because I just need my own. I need my own and it needs to be done in a good way. Y'all, this water coming up high. I'm sitting in the water, y'all. I'm sitting in the water. I'm definitely in the water. Hopefully no jellyfish and nothing else come up, but I'm definitely in the water. Um, but I thought it would be a good idea to share this with you all today. I know this is possible for all of us and I want y'all to make it happen. Like whatever delays you have, it don't matter. If you really want to come, you will overcome your fear and you will make it happen, right? So just, you know, don't get discouraged. Do what you got to do. Stay on track. Whatever you ain't packed, oh well, it wasn't meant to be there. Keep it moving, make it happen, and I can't wait to see you on the continent so we all could just be toasting it up, laying out on the beach, having some fruit drinks, smiling, giving blessings and praise to the ancestors, giving praise to 